Yeah. If you cut the offense, someone said, why does this guy have big teeth when he's preaching at us? <laughs> <laughs> and he said it in Uganda, and yeah. Uganda is much more funny. Yeah, it's oh, no, it's rude. Watch here to see got to do that. Can he not? <laughs> Are you ready? Are we recording? Welcome, everybody. This is the Jay and the Joe show. I'm Jay. And I'm Joe. And we are Jay and Joe. And listen, today's going to be fun because we are talking about crossing over. It's the crossover event. We're saying bye bye to 2023 as we enter in 2024. We're not just saying bye bye to 2023. We're also saying bye to some of the things that we have seen in 2023 that have been holding us back. And this one's for you. This one's for you. This one's for everybody. It's for everybody. So what are the things holding us back? Today what we're going to talk about is the things that we need to leave behind for 2023, for 2024. For 2024. Yeah. There's a lot of baggage that we are carrying. And mm. the first one mm. is poor time management. Ah. Ugandan time. Ugandan time. It cuts across this continent. It's a... <laughs> it's a culture thing. <laughs> it's a demon. <laughs> mm. It's a demon. Mm. We, we don't respect other people's time. We don't respect our own time. We, we're just going with the flow mm -hmm. we don't know the time for like it's time for this and it's time for that and um that way we're just lagging behind and not putting our priorities straight uh what do you think i think it also in in our household it's a thing also one of the weaknesses of the senyongas <laughs> time whenever me. they give us a time we're always there like five minutes yeah. behind schedule and then having and that's something also not yes because now because you know you wake up in the morning you gotta shower you gotta brush you gotta mm -hmm. they're not only you but at the same time now you gotta do it for judah and judah gotta get ready and then you gotta get the car and then the, the bags and the diapers and the wipes and Ooh. So by planning to be on time, we're actually getting late. So one of the strategies that we want to implement is like saying, hey, let's get there early. Yes, we can plan to get there on time, but you know what happens. And some of you are like this. You really plan in your head. I want to be there at this certain time. But every single time you get there, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, you find jam in a way. So like saying, OK, let me try to be there 10 minutes early. And when I'm there, I'm going to pray or I'm going to read my Bible or do something productive with my time as I wait for other people. But like saying, you know what, I'm going to be on time. I'm going to put myself on time by not shooting to be on time, but to be early. And that requires like if you, if you need to get your clothes ready the day before. I know this is like a Sunday morning. That's like what we impossible do. Impossible for you. Maybe like like I'll never be that person because I've not done that like my whole life growing up. But like that's stuff, the habits that you can adopt. And then when we talk about time management, like you say, I'm going to, uh, I wake up at six, but then at six you get on your phone and then you start scrolling. Mm. But when we talk about time management, I want us to talk about like the, the things the, that kill the our time. The diversity of it, because it also entails things that kill your you time. doing the wrong thing at the wrong time. Mm. Like you are at work or you're in school or whatever, and you're like, Time passes and you're just on Scripture TikTok. Scripture tells us there's a time for everything. Yeah, and you're on TikTok, on your Instagram, and by the time you know it, five hours have passed. Mm. I don't have a phone anymore. I just feel like I live Guys, in a stress-free life. Guys, pause, pause. What? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Yeah. My wife literally has no phone. Yeah. She's off the grid. Yeah. If you see anyone posting, this is him. And I'm very grateful for that. But I do I'm all the really, work, yeah, but she I'm literally has no phone. A stress-free life. <laughs> but the fact that people literally sit and scroll on their phones, mm. five hours later, they've literally done nothing. Even an hour later. We're not carrying that in into 2024. We got to be productive. We got to manage our time. Mm. You can't steward anybody. You can't steward things that God's going to give you if you can't even steward the little time that you have. The most important, valuable thing yeah. 
It's not money, it's time. Yeah. Because someone gave you an example. If I gave you $10 million today, would you take it? Yeah. How many would say yes? Mm. I'm going to take it. Yeah. But then at the end of that, they say, but you die tomorrow morning. <laughs> and then they're going to be like, yeah, I die, but I give it to my family. <laughs> Most yeah, of the people you. will not take that money. Because <laughs> yeah. that shows you what? Yes, money is valuable, but the time you have on this earth yeah. is valuable. So yeah. saying, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make time an important thing in my life. It's a yeah. culture in Uganda. So breaking that culture is crazy. Because I remember in school, I was in school and I always came late to class. And every time I get late to class, they take five points off my final grade. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't stop it. Why? Because... It was such a culture in my head of, okay, I'm going to be there like five minutes, two minutes, whatever time. But in Uganda, it's like, I'm going to be there 30 minutes, one hour. But now get time. Yeah. Keep, you make a lunch with someone. It's not, it's Let me report someone. They might be watching. You make a lunch with someone. You come there one hour later. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is Fire. it. Some people say it's better late than never. Yeah. Right? At least I showed up. No, no, no. Never be. late is better. Yeah. Ooh, pa, 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 pa. Yeah. Better late than never, but never late is better. So yeah. don't be late. Always yeah. be early. So All it is on time. Mm. Um, even if it's the first, try the first January. Because I know. Never be late it. to anything. If you try it, I'm sure like the rest, you're going to set like a pace for the rest of your Studies year. show that it takes 21 days to break a habit. Yeah. To break a habit, yes. Or to start a habit. To start a habit, to break a habit. Yeah. So. So this is also for us, like yeah. getting stuff ready and making Never sure be late that 2020, you prepare 24. the day before. And then the other one that kind of like feeds into it is procrastination. Ooh. That's a big one. You know. For all our college kids. No, like procrastination <laughs> yeah. is, is, okay, what is procrastination? It's delaying to do what you Something. need to do. You know what you need to do, but you don't do it. Not because you can't, but you just don't want to do it. Yeah. So you delay it. Yeah. And I'm a professional. I was, and sometimes I still can be. You're not as professional as you were uh, before. Let's yes. say that. Uh, professional. You have a semi-delivery. Yes, I've been semi-delivered, but yeah. I know I need to get to the next level yeah. of being fully free from procrastination. Yeah. And you know, it's it's... Procrastination is not just like not wanting to do something, but it is a stress mechanism because what you are delaying to do brings you stress or puts you in a position that you don't want to feel like. Uncomfortable So position. you delay it. Or if there's so much stress on you, you say, let me just procrastinate. I'll do it later. I'll do it later. And it's a depression kind of mindset okay, that therapist. follows. No, no, it's, it's literally what, okay. what it is. It is a depression kind of mindset that gets in your head. And you say, I'm not going to do this right now. I can't do this. Let, let me just relax. Why? Because you feel the pressure or you feel that it's going to take you down. Let me let me say this. Procrastination, it could be your work, it could be you even striving to get better. You're like, okay, tomorrow I'm really going to like this month I I I'm really gonna work want out. to work out. This month mm -hmm. I really want to treat people better. This month I really want to like prioritize myself. This month I'm going to start waking up at six o'clock. And before you know it, it's not happening. You like tomorrow, tomorrow, next month, tomorrow, tomorrow, Even, tomorrow, tomorrow. I'm gonna eat better. Tomorrow I'm gonna eat this. Like it. Tomorrow I'm gonna start working. Some out. of you are just saying on the first. That's when I'm starting. Yeah. <laughs> There's no other reason. Yeah. There's no other thing. Why don't you start today? Yeah. It's, it will do better for you if you start today. Yeah, and see see how it works out. For you. But you say tomorrow. You say on December thirty first. Oh, on January thirty first. Why? Because procrastination yeah. now procrastination in order to overcome it you have to discover the root yeah why are you procrastinating yeah is it because of the, the thing you need to do is difficult is there something underlining like depression or is it something underlining like like restrictions that you feel in your heart that is but finding the root of your procrastination because procrastination is always what word should i use is always a symptom but it's not the disease does that make sense? Mm. It's like a headache. If someone is sick of cancer, they might feel funny in their tummy or funny in their head. But that is a symptom, right? But the disease is the actual cancer. Yeah. So procrastination is always a symptom. Find out what it is. Is it a root of laziness? Mm. Is it a root of uh, 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 bitterness, of lost hope, of whatever? Find the root of what is causing you to be procrastinative. Is that a word? Yeah. I procrastinative don't know. I don't know. to procrastinate yeah and tear it down and destroy it yeah. 2024 
uh, Pastor Jackson gave us a word that we are going to be rooted deeper so that we can bear fruit upward. So in that getting to the take root, root da- downward, taking root downward so that we can bear different. fruit upward. So like That's God is saying, listen, I'm here to find out what is in yeah. you, what is going on inside of you. So I can uproot it and put my root and my fruit so that you can now produce the results. That's good. Sometimes with, in order to take root downward the right way, you're going to have to be uprooted. Mm. In, the, in, order to, for, in order for you to bear the fruit that you want, yeah. the root has to go inside. And in order the root to get inside, whatever bad seed and root was there you has to be taken uprooted. Out. That's a word. And that's procrastination. I pray that that will be in your life 2024. Yep. Speaking of like, if you have something, make sure you like find it out and all of whatever you've been saying. I feel like we also lack communication. Like we don't know how to communicate. Especially in relationships. Intimate relationships. But now you're going to. But now you're going to do not know how to communicate. Mm. And when I say communicate. What do we mean? In relationships, but also in our everyday life. Teach us. Like we, we feel something. That mm. someone has done something to us mm-hmm. or someone has done something that we are not comfortable with mm-hmm. or someone is asking us to do something does not that does not align mm. with our values and morals mm-hmm. and we, we're just going to be like okay like we're not going to be like hey i really don't feel like this is something I that, that i can do mm. you know but they're gonna go and talk about it with someone else mm. and then it becomes it just bitterness becomes that comes bitter behind the corner and, mm. you know all of that so mm. our communication gap hey. lacks in a lot of things in the workplace um someone's not going to be upfront with someone right there and then like hey i know you asked me to do this but like i have a pile of stuff that i'm already working on can you please like give me time or mm. liberty to mm. you know that's not i'll get it done but i just need done. time so communication in that way or your child it, uh, it, communication is 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 so important because it's how things move along mm-hmm. and some people can look at the state of the country and say we have a, a issue of moving along because yeah. You look at uh, just communication in government, communication in families, communication in everyone. People are not understanding each other. People are not understanding the heart of each other. And so communication, someone tells you something that you don't like, and then you look at them like this. And you think that your face is enough to communicate everything that that you're feeling. Let's talk about our faces because Ugandans are (laughs) aggressive. Mm, I did. I saw one go do. Yeah. <laughs> I said, wait, how did you go all around like that? What does that mean? How do you rotate me up and down? But no, we There's have one. a grip. Someone did this. Someone did. I said, what? What's going on here? Are we are we riding a wave? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? In a music video, I mean, in the like rap songs when they say, screw, screw. <laughs> 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 screw, screw. Yeah, is that I was like, yo, like, ah. is this a proper one? I was like, what's going on? <laughs> some other, uh, some guys when they don't also don't, they don't know how to communicate. Yeah. Someone tells them something and they'll just yeah, like, like they feel you it. cannot it's... say it, you cannot communicate it, and it, sometimes if we say it or if we try to communicate it, it comes across as disrespectful. Yeah. But understanding, like, okay. I'm trying to make someone understand me, yeah. not trying to be right. And that's where a lot of communication falls, especially yeah. in like relationships. Yeah. Like me and Joanne is like, hey, yes, we have a disagreement, but I'm communicating mm-hmm. not so that you can come on my side and mm-hmm. that I can prove myself to be right. Mm-hmm. But we are communicating so that you can understand, mm-hmm. so that you can step into my shoes mm-hmm. and that I can step into your shoes. And if we both understand each other better and where we're at, we can move in the right direction and progress the marriage, progress the relationship. Those of you who are single and fiancéed up, booed up, looking towards marriage, you can progress. Ringed up. Mm? I remember those days of singleness, man. Anyways, by the way, if you want to learn a little bit more about communication, I want you to look at the video right here when I almost broke up with Joanne because we could not communicate. Yeah, communication is a big deal. Also, Mm. when we talk about communication, we talk about like assumption. Mm. Assume. Assuming. Assume, Sean. Ugandans, but now Uganda. 
we love it. We love to assume that what someone is thinking. Or, jump and to conclusions. Co- jump to, oh, we are very good at jumping conclusions. If there is anyone. <laughs> Actually, this is how we jump to conclusions. Maybe. If there's anyone who's good at bump, jumping to conclusions. Who is it? <laughs> I know someone. Is it a Munayu guy? <laughs> I know is this that, person. Is it a Munai Uganda? Someone I know. Is it a Uganda? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are they female? <laughs> yeah. Okay, <laughs> we will leave it in 2023. <laughs> We're leaving it 2023. Now no, but assuming. Assumptions. And jumping into conclusions. Ooh. And thinking that someone's going to read your mind. Mm. Like, I, for somehow, some reason... I have to read what you're thinking. Mm. Can you not understand that Omun, t- you know, doesn't do this? This is how I want to this. be treated. This is how. So, guys, let us learn to communicate in 2023. Let us move on. Say it again. With to be the That's a difficult one. Mm. With 2023. Yes. Let Hallelujah. us communicate what we're feeling on our hearts because the Bible says, out of your, no, out of your, out of the heart, out of the heart. Flows all issues of life. Come on, Pastor. The more we bottle it in, mm. the more we don't communicate, the more we go on and tell other people what we think about other, other people. One. Mm. We're just creating Can you a believe? cycle of confusion and giving the enemy Can you proper believe? ground to play with us. Mm. But we want peace. We want harmony. We want peace, not violence. Exactly. So, so communicate. Someone put up on me. Mm. I don't want peace. I want (laughs) I don't want peace. I want problems always. That's not what we want. We want peace in 2024. Because listen, peace is what builds. Yeah. War destroys. And if you're not in peace, just know you're not moving forward. And that's what we want. We want to move forward in 2024. What else are we leaving in 2023? (sighs) Is it again Banaiga? But now Uganda is here in this household and in of this house, In this house, we've cut that mm. completely. I think mm. that root has been broken. Mm. Now we are bearing fruit upward. I mean, but lack of empathy. We are not empathetic. At empathic. All. What when does I say that mean? Empathetic is you putting yourself in someone else's shoes and seeing them from I don't know. As a fellow standpoint. human being. Exactly. I see people making comments. I mean, God has really healed me from like opinions of people like that doesn't get to me at all um, anymore. But like I see people commenting on, and this is not just Ugandans, this is like the world in general. Like the way we call out other people, the way we we um, we are quick to address like that. <laughs> Someone said, hydrate. And your picture? <laughs> on my picture, I'm like, girl, I'm fasting a hefty number of days, but like, I'm not going to go and announce to everybody, mm. right? And like, you don't know what people are going through. You don't know where they've been at. Like when someone is showcasing their life on like social media or the put out something, like it's vulnerability mm. enough. Right, it's it's vulner being vulnerable and trying to share their life with you guys. I mean, if you're not interested, just exit. Go your own way. But we're not empathetic at all. We we want everything for ourselves. We don't put ourselves in other people's shoes. We are quick to comment. We are quick to address. And you're gonna people call other people fat, but no go one that you give. <laughs> <laughs> like they don't know what they're dealing with. I remember how when we we were like trying to parent with Judah, like learning parenting, how many comments came at us? Mm. Like, Moana, what you mu kwata about yo? Mu kwata. To man you kwata Moana. Please, I'm like, learning. The lack of empathy. And I know it's not what you it's not what you say, it's how you say it. Like you can always say something but like the way you say it really matters. Like, hey, I think this is how you should hold Judah. So as a as a people, I think we need to be empathetic 
in 2024, how would I want to be treated? Is something that you needs to ring exactly a bell in your mind. Like whenever you're gonna say something to someone, be like, mm, how would I take it if they said that to me? Right? How would I address it? How would I feel? And put yourself in other people's shoes before you say something mm. mean or you know nasty. At the same point, when we have to also deal with the fact that we are living in an un empathetic world. empathetic world. Thank mm-hmm. you. I was didn't know. Yeah, I, empathetic. Saw you. I didn't know where I was gonna go. Yeah. But we have to deal with the fact with an un empathetic world. Yeah. So, uh, being able to be strong in who we are and not to carry the offense. Yeah. Because someone can say something that is offensive. And someone can do something that is offensive, even if they do not mean it. But the second you catch the offense. You're letting the enemy in. It is a doorway to let people in. Like the person who said, hydrate. Eh? If you cut the offense, someone said, why does this guy have big teeth when he's preaching at us? (laughs) (laughs) And he said it in Uganda. And Uganda is much more funny. Yeah, it's aggressive and rude. Watch here to see Sini Kamanyo. I've got to do that. Can he not? <laughs> you better. Oh. Doesn't know. I, I had I, I had you, braces. Man. I had this. I had, you know, yeah. I've been trying to work on my yeah. teeth, you know. Yeah. But if you catch the offense, yeah. right? Someone who doesn't even know you it's can have you a from... power over you. Yeah. An offense be, uh, breeds bitterness. Mm-hmm. And bitterness breeds hate and anger and, and insecurity because yeah. now you're imagining that person and you're like, uh, I wish I could get them. I wish I could expose them. I wish I could do, 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 you're stupid. You're what up? Mm-hmm. Who I are you? Are you going to believe that? Or are you going to be like, no, me, I'm actually not stupid. I'm actually not ugly. I'm actually not. We used to make jokes when I was younger. And uh, uh, me and my sister, she is a bully. Um, Elizabeth Sinyonga, I know you're watching. Shout out to you, girl. We love you. Um, <laughs> but when you were younger, you were such a bully. One of the things Liz used to tell me every day, every day, man, Josh, why are you so ugly? Yeah. Like, I see all of us. They must have adopted <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, seriously? And, but because she said it every day, I started to hear it a lot and I, I started it. to believe it. Mm-hmm. So I used to think I'm ugly. But then one day I like walked in the mirror and I was like, dang, boy. Man, I, I feel kind of fresh today. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I feel kind of fresh today. And from that day, I'm like, you know what? I'm not ugly. And from that day, it broke. I, so whenever she told me, she's, she told me repeatedly that I'm ugly, I didn't get offended as I used to. So I made a decision yeah. that whatever they say, um, over it. And in 2024, I don't know who has offended you. It could be your mom. It could be your dad. It could be your wife. It could be whoever is in your life. Do not carry the offense because the offense will bury you. It will be a restriction. It will be like a chain that a is put around you. Yeah. It will be a limitation and you will not be able to progress. A lot of times when we're angry, we feel powerful. I feel but like that when feeling, your break series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that feeling of yeah. power is a lie of the enemy. When you say, oh, I'm so angry. And you know when you're angry, like you're too angry, you, you get even images in your head of what yeah, you could do. I wish I could just, mm, I would just, you know. Um, i tell you a quick story. There was a girl I used to date before I, I dated Joanne. Oh my, yes, I used to date someone before I met Joanne. And- uh, How dare you. <laughs> <laughs> forgive me. But let me tell you this. Turns out that this girl who I was dating, you know, I, I only dated people who I thought I could marry. So she was someone I thought, cause she was in the church, she was in the choir, she was praying, she was in the, you know, she was, she was, she, you know, she, who she was. she was. She was out there. She was that kind of girl. Anyways, come to find out, she's been making out with this other dude. Behind the scenes. It's and she's dating dude. another dude. Oh, another dude. Another guy behind the scenes. And I did not know. Bum, yeah. And it really broke my heart. I remember going up to my friends to tell them, like, yo, look what this girl did. I was so angry. And I was like, yo. That man did a, that man did a good thing. Tears. She was preparing you. Come on. Come on. Something better. But God, <laughs> some of you, your exes, the, the, your exes are just platforms for you to meet. Come on. Come your on. wifey. Come but listen. Listen what happened. 
I got so offended yeah. that it consumed my mind. I was like, how can this happen to me? Mm. How can I keep not this? Joshua. Not just with Sinyanga going through these issues. That's not why I, I chose who I chose. That's not why, you know. Uh, God, I went specifically. Yeah, I, I got a church girl. Now you're telling me these church. Listen, church girl, church boy, pastor, you better find out who they are when no one is watching. Yeah. Don't say, oh, he's a pastor. Especially church boy. Ah, church, girl. church boy, church girl. So anyways, the offense carried me for like three months. And that was the most offended I've ever been. Mm -hmm. I would literally sit in my bed at night thinking like, man, I wish I could expose her. I have all these secrets I could really just show the world. Like this girl mm -hmm. really isn't. I would see her and I'd be like, man, look at her pretending. All these people. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And it would literally eat up my mind to where it was the first thing I thought about when I woke up and the last mm -hmm. thing I thought about at night. The enemy really had that's the power. That's the power of offense. Yeah. And so this is what happened. I literally made a decision. I'm not going to think about her again. And anytime like her, her, her image or anything about her would come in my mind, I would literally make a decision. No, nope, no think about her. No nope. football, football, soccer, Manchester United. Oh man, we had a, Cristiano and it comes back. Cristiano went out. Then I think, of, okay, cats, dogs, puppies, cats, dogs, <laughs> puppies. Way, what do I have to do for school? Is, by the way, Manchester United. <laughs> hey. What's that? We had a good game last game. Hoyland <laughs> okay. scored. Anyways, okay. but that's that's the that's the power of the offense, and you can make a decision. And I don't know what kind of offense you might be under in this season. <clears throat> Give it to God and make a decision. That 2024, I'm not going to be defended. Even if it's the most offensive thing, you can make a decision to overcome it you are, and forgive. Yeah, you are a light set up on a hill. Come on. Right? And so... You illuminate, mm. you, you ooze, mm. and you light up everything else around you. Mm. And so when you have this thing that is really cornering you and putting you, that's not where you're supposed to Come be. Come on. So do whatever it is that you need to do to get out of there because it's not cute. It's, it's not fun. It's not for you. It's not for you. Overcome. What else are we letting go? That's in? what I was about to ask you. Well, I want to talk about this one. The Navagirka always talks about in her meetings, Ubuntu Bulamu. Hmm? Ubuntu Bulam, like humanity. Say it the right way. Ubuntu Bulam. Ubuntu or Ob Ubuntu? Ubuntu. <laughs> it's definitely Ubuntu. <laughs> you want to teach me? I'm going to teach you. It's no, Ubuntu. Ubuntu Bulamu. And this is like uh, the way humanity, like the way I already talked about this, the way we treat other people. But we have this mentality like to it's their own, like do you and I do me. The other day I was at the airport <clears throat> and I saw this guy, like he was... Um, Pushing, mm -hmm. like pushing in boxes and boxes of water, right? I mean, it's his job, but like he hit a carb and then all, all, the, all box. the boxes went off. Let me tell you, everyone went on to do, like no one saw. No one cared. No one cared. Everyone just, no help mm. at all. Mm. I was like, what? Let me talk about this. I went with Judah someplace. Mm -hmm. Um to get my document, immigration, to get my documentation. I went with a stroller and I went with him. Let me tell you, I had to get up the stairs to like get my stuff with him. Mm. There's First of all, there's no like ramp for- For strollers. That's also another thing. Like, oh, let's put ramps on the road to cater for like the disabled and all of this. Anyways, I had to carry Judah, mm -hmm. carry my, the bag, mm. The stroller mm. onto the stairs, mm. and everybody's just like fighting to cut in front, in front of, of me. Mm. And I was like, "Are you serious? Nobody cares. This? No one cares. Mm. Like, to each their own. Everyone is so hurt to go in Gilwa. <laughs> <laughs> I love. I wanted to use that word. Mm. When I get to go in Gilwa, where do we where go? Do we go? Because Crunchy. our country, our people, our people are, are so, so hurt and so broken. And I don't know. Everyone's just it's hard to help. them. It's hard That's to why help. there's a lot of theft. There's a lot of everyone's trying to like take off mm. from the other person. Mm. Like if I can steal from that person, mm. I am good. Mm. They don't care how much, like how that person got the money, how mm. they're striving, how they have sleepless nights. Everyone to each their own. Mm. And I feel like that mentality, if you're listening to this, do not be a part of that. Don't be associated with that. Like 2024, we're leaving that behind for Come on. sure. Open Come on. Humanity, like 
just be human and put yourself let's take yeah. let's take initiative to, yeah. help yeah, to help people let's take initiative to give to yeah. be a blessing to yeah. the people that we see yeah. someone throws a whole can of water you can help pick up one water yeah. and uh, not just look at them like they're losers like the poor like yeah. they they have nothing and yeah. no value but everyone and has it's like oh that's value. their job you mm. know they they have to do that and then we trash because we know someone else is going to pick it up like uh uh-uh. uh let's not do that yeah Yeah, so 2024, we have a lot of things to to get better at, and um, both here in this house and also in your house. You got to think about it and decide, like, who do I want to be and where do I want to go? And Mm -hmm. with the goals that you have, with the plans that you have to overcome procrastination, to overcome the offense, to overcome uh, and become Buntu Bulala. Mm. Mm? <laughs> yeah, um, to, um, to mulala. yeah. Uh, to become a different person. Um, <laughs> to um, to mulala, ate. Um, to, um, um, to mulam. Um, to mulamu. Yeah. Humanity. To to mulam. Come on, I, I get mulam. this thing. Listen, yeah. all that being said. No, we have one more thing. Take advantage. Mm. We have one more thing. One more thing, which is? We are not, not going to take care of ourselves in 2024. <laughs> By the so, way, <laughs> by the way, whoever tried to skip this yeah, last major yeah, point, yeah, 2024, yeah, take care of yeah. you. You understand? Self care, baby. And before we even talk about buntumulala, <laughs> other people Gosh. and humanity, eh, <laughs> buntumulala, uh-uh. buntumulamu, humanity. Buntumulamu is humanity. Okay, buntumulamu. Mm-hmm. You cannot help someone else. Unless you have the help ability yourself, to help yourself. And you're full. Mm. You cannot give if you don't have. have. Yeah. And a lot of us are trying to give when you don't have. Mm. And you're giving fake. And people can know. And they can see your values. And yeah. you're going to get depleted. And you're going to get run out. Mm. But in 2024, make a decision. I got to care about me. I'm going to care about how I dress. I'm going to care about the, my ha- haircut. Even if I don't have money, I'm not going to depend on money to determine how I take yeah. care of myself. I'm going to take care of myself. And- If I don't need someone in my space, please get out of my space. Get out of my space. Some people in your life are eating up your time, your energy, your money, your effort. This girl that pretends to like you and you like her because she has the curves, but really she She just just wants wants your money. money. Tell her, hey, (laughs) give me some space, baby girl. Give me some space. I'm going to save myself for someone that love me. Yeah. For me. What yeah. you saying? No, I wanted to say that it self-care and self-love is not about like doing your hair. That's very important. Mm. Make sure your nails mm. are done. Make sure that your nails are kept. Mm. Make sure that everything is, you know, well taken care of. You're, you're looking nice. You know how to clean up. Right? Thank you. Thank you. That's not it. That's though. not it. That's though. not the only thing. Mm. Boundaries. Boundaries. Know who to invite in your space because that's either going to deplete you or add to you, mm. right? You don't just go everywhere, everywhere they call, wherever the food, where, mm. whatever passes your nose, Hype you're man, eating. Man. You need to be able to like love yourself, know what your color is. Love your space. Love eh? your space. You should love to yeah. go home because you love your space. Exactly. Your room is clean, your exactly. house is ready, there's power on, mm-hmm. <laughs> there's water there. Yeah, even in there's your food home, at home as married people, let me mm. speak to married people. Um, you just feel like it's just a lot on you. Mm. Like, there's just so much. I beseech you, mm-hmm. brethren. The brethren of course. <laughs> brethren, to still find, even in the confusion, even in the chaos, even in the, you know, the day-to-day busyness of life, like find something that still gives you joy, mm. right? I know you're taking care of other people, you're a single mom, whatever it is, you're unhappy, Find the things that make you, that fill you up. Mm. And then before you know it, you're slowly going to be able to pour into other people effortlessly. Come on. But self-love, it got to start It starts with you. They tell us on the plane, before you help your child, make sure you put the mask on, on your face. And your because by the time you're helping your child, yeah. no one will help you. Yeah. You try to you give, yeah. what about you? You yeah. have to first put. And I want to talk to some single people out there. You're dating some Mufere. Some woman mufele, some male mufele. Mm. You, they're coming over. They're sleeping over. Yeah. You need to put you're up some wasting, boundaries. You're wasting your life. You need to put yes. up some boundaries, yeah. men and women of God. Yeah. You know what you're doing ain't right. Yeah. Put up some boundaries. Take care of 
yourself. I remember Joanne wanted to come to my house every single day. That's a lie. Every single day. That's she tried to come over. I said, listen, That's baby, as fun as you might be, I need to put up some... No, I'm joking. That's a lie. It's a, it's a but lie. Boundaries for me are important. Even mm. at home here, I, 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 we love people a lot, but like who we let in is very important in our space. Yep. Because they're going to come in with a lot. And are we ready to deal with that? No. Are we, you know, we are very... Very this careful. has to be a safe place. Yes. It has to be a safe place. Mm-hmm. It has to be a home place. And if you come here and you don't give us that. You're not coming back. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so you people who haven't come back. I'm kidding. You need no. to feel, I'm joking. Oh, yeah. That's all jokes. Yeah. But but we just know this has to be a safe place. The yeah. people who come here got to love us. Because you know there's some people that hate us. They hate what we do. Yeah. They hate who we are. They hate what we represent. And they're trying to be fake. But Jesus got us. Jesus loves us. And that's why we are protecting our space. And we know that if you can do that in 2024, you're just going to rise higher, higher, higher. I can't, I can't, I can't. We can't close. We can't close. The father, the the maker, the sustainer, Mm. the redeemer, the deliverer, the blesser, the blesser, the encourager. Let me tell you, 2024, we're not doing those on and off things. Come you, on. You seek the Lord today, then mm. tomorrow you're off. It's like, it's like a roller coaster. Netflix, Bible. Netflix, yeah, Holy Spirit. YouTube, that. I am. Mean, we're not doing that. Mm-hmm. Right? What we're going to do is mm. to read our Bibles consistently. Spiritual consistency. Daily bread. Okay, daily bread. Spiritual consistency. Come on, speak. I'm just supporting. Daily bread. Mm. This word is a two-edged word. It mm. slices. It reveals. It does all of these mm. things. It cuts out. So the more you read it, it's going to read you. You're going to be transformed. Your mind's going to be renewed. You're going to be whole. You're going to be able to give out to other people. And you're going to be, I don't know, sanctified, set apart, consecrated, all of this for the work that he has purposed you for. And so 2024, what we're going to do is we're going to read our Bibles. Mm. We're going to have our quiet time in the secret place. And we're going to seek the Lord like never before. Because yeah. their destiny is to be caught. Mm-hmm. Their purposes to be found. Come on, there. <laughs> I'm the one with the. Come on, I, ha- I have that last yeah. thing. Uh-huh. The destiny is to be caught. Yeah. The purposes yeah. to be found. And uh-huh. there's life to be saved, changed. Ah. Ha- hallelujah. In Jesus' and name. Saved. Saved but, and changed. Listen, yeah. we have to say bye bye to inconsistency yeah. in the things of God because yeah. you can never develop. Yeah. When you go and say, God, this is who I am. This is where I'm at. And I, teach me how to be consistent. Guess what? He will show you how. And do it for 21 days. January 1st to January 21st. Do it for 21 days. And you can join us with Christian Life Church. We're about to be in 21 days of prayer and fasting. We're going to see what does God have for us in this year. Remember, we finish strong and we start strong. Yeah. We got to start with all energy. So even before the end of the year, take some time, sit down and say, what do I want to do this year? Who do I want to become? It's been such a great episode. It's been a fun episode. Love you guys. Bless you. Mwah. Bless your marriages. Bless yeah. your children. Bless your families. Bless your boyfriend. That's bless. a good boyfriend. Bless. Bless. <laughs> bless your your girlfriend. Um, who else should we bless? Your, bless your uncle. Bless your cousins. Your children. I said children already. Bless okay. your friends. Your business. The By the way, your hands. some of you haven't subscribed. We've been gone for a long time, but you, you guys. You come and you just go. Subscribe, leave this a comment. Is not, I'm <laughs> leave a comment, subscribe. We love you. God bless you. Okay. See you next okay. time. This is not a I'm gonna cut that out. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, yeah you can go. We are men of stature. Okay. We are women of stature. Okay. You cannot put such a thing in our thing. <laughs> <laughs>